This brief presentation will discuss some of the features and benefits common to all double crossover diamond interchanges, DCD for short, as well as some of the features unique to Harrodsburg Road's interchange with New Circle Road. The DCD interchange is not a new concept. In fact, it has been used in Europe since the 1970s. However, the concept was not used in the United States until 2009 when the Missouri Department of Transportation opened the first DCD interchange in Springfield. Since then, two other DCDs have been built in Missouri. Other states, like Utah and Tennessee, have also followed suit. The Harrodsburg Road New Circle Road interchange will be the first DCD interchange constructed in Kentucky. At this time, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet is also in the process of designing two DCDs on I-75 just south of Florence. So why are departments of transportation across the country embracing the DCD interchange? Because it provides a simple solution to a complex problem. Interchanges are often traffic bottlenecks because they accommodate heavy volumes of turning traffic along already congested arterial roadways. Traditional diamond interchanges, such as the one currently at Harrodsburg Road and New Circle Road, can be problematic because they require closely spaced, signalized intersections at entrance and exit ramps. These traffic signals typically require three phases to accommodate the left turns from the arterial onto the freeway, the through movements on the arterial, and the turning movements from the freeway exit ramps. Providing adequate signal timings for each movement and coordinating the closely spaced signals is an ongoing battle. Other traffic signals along the arterial make this task more difficult. The DCD simplifies interchange operation by crossing traffic from the right side of the arterial roadway to the left side as it passes between the ramp terminals and through the interchange where it crosses back over to the right side. The crossovers are created with curved islands that channel traffic flow through the crossover intersections at the New Circle Road ramp terminals. In this case, the curved islands are filled with grass. Additional traffic signals, referred to as supplemental signals, will be included to maximize visibility. At the left of the graphic, you will see an example of the additional traffic signals that will be in the curved island at the end of each exit ramp. These signals are in addition to the overhead signals that will be mounted on mast arms and located over the turn lanes at the ends of the ramps. At the right of the graphic, you will see the supplemental traffic signals for the through movements on Harrodsburg Road. These signals provide better line of sight for traffic approaching the crossover intersections and visually reinforce the mast arm mounted signals above the travel lanes. The operation of each ramp intersection signal phasing is designed so that two signal phases can accommodate all movements. This simplified example will explain how that works. Each through movement on the arterial has its own signal phase, and the ramp movements in the opposite directions are served concurrently. For example, here we see that inbound Harrodsburg Road has a green indication at both ramp terminal intersections. At the same time, the right turn from the New Circle Road outer loop is green and the left turn from the inner loop exit ramp is green. All these movements can be green at the same time because there is no potential conflict between any of them. The next phase includes a green light for outbound Harrodsburg Road at both ramp terminal intersections. At the same time, the left turn from the New Circle Road outer loop is green and the right turn from the inner loop exit ramp is also green. This phasing is more efficient than the existing three-phase operation and minimizes queuing on the exit ramps as storage for the left turning traffic is provided on both Harrodsburg Road and the exit ramp. The exit ramps will also be widened to provide additional storage for vehicles turning onto Harrodsburg Road. An additional benefit to the DCD interchange is that left turns to the New Circle Road entrance ramps become free flow movements. As you may have already guessed, the DCD interchange is considered a safer alternative to conventional interchange types for two reasons. First, the DCD reduces the number of conflict points where vehicle paths can cross. 
crossing paths where the most severe crashes are likely to occur are reduced to two in contrast to the four conflict points in a conventional interchange. Fewer conflict points mean fewer crashes. At the Springfield DCD interchange, for example, there were 60% fewer crashes in the first six months the new interchange was open. Second, there is a traffic calming aspect to the design as curvature through the DCD crossovers is designed for speeds of 25 to 30 miles per hour. Some of the other concepts that were examined for improving Harrodsburg Road would have eliminated the shoulder beneath the New Circle Road bridge to provide additional lanes. The DCD will retain usable shoulder and provide the same number of lanes as we have today, three in each direction. One other benefit included with this project is the addition of multi-use paths on both sides of Harrodsburg Road for bicyclists and pedestrians. No crosswalks will be provided across Harrodsburg Road at the New Circle Road ramps, but crosswalks are provided at the intersection of Beaumont Parkway and Corporate Drive, as well as the intersection of Alexandria Drive and Pasadena Drive. In summary, there are four significant benefits for the proposed DCD interchange at Harrodsburg Road. First, it increases both the through capacity on Harrodsburg Road as well as the left turning capacity from Harrodsburg Road onto New Circle Road. And the DCD interchange accomplishes this with the same number of lanes beneath the New Circle Road as we have today, three in each direction. Secondly, it will reduce backups on the exit ramps from New Circle Road because of the more efficient traffic signal operation and the improved exit ramps. Third, based on the experience in Missouri, the DCD interchange will reduce the number of collisions at this intersection. Finally, the DCD provides a longer-term solution than other alternatives that were considered. While this may not be a permanent solution, it will provide much-needed congestion relief and improve traffic operations for quite some time. Thank you for coming this evening. For more information about the project, please visit us on the web.